this is Pamela with Verismo Studio. This is a quick tutorial on how to use our online gallery to order prints and specialty items from your photo session. I'm going to do a quick review on how to navigate through the gallery, how to mark photos as your favorite, and how to add photos and specialty items to your cart along with how to check out. When your gallery is ready, we send you an email with a unique password and a direct link to the gallery. There are also two places on our website to get to the gallery as well. Let me just pop up our website here and I'll show you how and where those are. From any sidebar of any page that has a sidebar, so we'll go to a page with a sidebar, there is this client login right here. There's also the client login that's always located at the top left of every page. These are all the galleries that are available to order from. For this tutorial, I'm going to look at the sample gallery. From this page, you'll be required to enter your email address and the unique password that we gave you. For the sample gallery, we don't have a password applied, but here you will enter in your email, and it doesn't matter what email you use, just use one that you check often because after you check out of your cart, your confirmation will be sent to the email you enter here. So I'm going to enter in my email, Pamela at Verismo Studio, and then if you were in your gallery, underneath here you would have to enter in the password. So we're going to view the gallery. When you get into the gallery, the first thing you will see are several folders called albums. The first album, Session Photos, shows all the photos that we took during your session. The second album, Specialty Items, shows all the specialty items that you can order. The third album, All Photos, shows all the images from every album in the gallery. The fourth album, Your Favorites, shows any images that you have marked as your favorite. Let's take a look at the session photos. The first thing I want to point out inside any album is the view options down here. There are four view options to choose from, but I prefer the grid view, so I'm going to keep it just as it is. There's also the top navigation up here, and the studio homepage goes back to where you choose your gallery and you sign in. View all albums goes back to the folders of your albums, and your favorites in your cart go to your favorites in your cart. So back in session photos, when you hover over an image, it pops up a box to add it to your cart or add it to your favorites. I always tell clients when they look through their photos to mark any photos they know they want to order as a favorite. That way when you're ready to order, you have your images narrowed down and you can view only the ones you want to order. So I can mark this as favorite and it pops an icon up here. If I decide I don't want it as my favorite, I can click it again and it will remove it. When I click on any image in here, it will make it bigger and I have the same options to add to my cart, make a favorite, and I can navigate back and forth through my images. So let's go ahead and make several of these images our favorites because I know I want to order them later. And I can close this and I can go through and make even more my favorite. And I absolutely want to favorite this one because that's my husband. So now I have seven photos marked as my favorite, and I'm going to view them here. Now I can see all the images that I've marked as my favorite. And if I decide I don't like one anymore, I can unfavorite it, and if I hit refresh, it will go away. Now I'm ready to start adding images to my cart. So I'm going to click on an image, and I'm going to click Add to Cart. This cart box pops up and I can see that I'm going to be adding this photo to my cart. I have several categories to choose from and Luster Prints is automatically open. If I scroll down, I can see that there are five more categories to choose from. The category Specialty Items and all the categories below it, you will order from the Specialty Items album. But since we're in the session photos, I can order this image in any size print, in any size float wrap, or I can order a digital negative. 
If you're not sure what something is, you can click on the description button and it will pop up with a short description and a photo. There is also this available discounts button that shows you the packages that are available. If you add everything from a package to your cart, the discount will be applied automatically to your cart when you check out. I'm going to go ahead and start adding items from this simple start package to my cart so you can see at checkout the discount applied. So I need to add two sets of 56 wallets. So let's do that here. Go back to lesser prints. And I need two sets of 56 wallets. So one set is going to give me 56 images wallet size of this image. If I order wallets 8, I'll only get 8 of this image. And since I need to add two sets, I'm going to add one more set from this image. Add to cart. I also can order 10 4x6s or 5x7s in any combination. So I'm going to order one 4x6 and two 5x7s of this image. Now I've used three of my 10. I'm gonna, for the sake of time, I'm going to add seven more of the 4x6s. So we'll do three and four, five, six, seven. Add to cart. It also says I can do two 8x10s. So for the sake of time, I'm going to do two of this image. To order a float wrap, I'll go down to float wrap and I can choose what size I want it to be and I'm going to get this image and I just want to note that this logo will not show up on any of your printed items so let's add an 11 by 14 float wrap of this image Add to cart. now I want to order some specialty items so let's go back to view all albums and choose specialty items each of these images represents a specialty item and I will use the specific image to add that specific item to my card. Let's look at the first one, 100 mini cards. So I'm going to use this image to add that specific specialty item to my cart. So I'm going to click on add cart and I'm going to scroll down to specialty items and choose mini cards. I'm going to add one. The next one is announcement cards, and I know that announcement cards were part of my package, so I'm going to add those. So I'm going to scroll down to announcement cards, and I want to point out that announcement cards come in bundles of 25, so if I order one, I'll get 25 cards. If I order two, I'll get 50, and all announcement cards come with envelopes. So I'm going to add that to my cart. Next we have several different collage walls that we've put together for you and you can see the different sizes and different layouts. If I choose I want to order this one but I decide I want to switch out this image, I can write that in the notes when I check out. It also shows the size. When this is hung on your wall it's going to be one foot wide and three feet tall. Let's add this to our cart. So I'm going to scroll down to collage walls and I have sizes to choose from. Right here it tells me that this collage wall is a small so I'm going to add it a small to my cart. And there's several other ones. Custom hardcover books. I'd like to order these so I'm going to add it to my cart and I'm going to scroll down and go to specialty items and I can choose 7x7 hardcover book or a 12 by 12 hardcover book. I'm going to choose two 7x7s seven because they're easy to carry around in your purse or your bag. Next is a mini brag book and these are really fun 3x3 three three albums that are really easy to carry around and I'm going to add this to my cart. And I'm going to scroll down to specialty items and I see here that I can order mini brag books but I have to order a minimum of three. But I have grandparents to give to, so I'm going to 
order four. And then there's just a couple other examples of mini brag books. Now I'm ready to check out. So I'm going to view my card. Here I can review everything that I've added to my cart and I can see that discounts are being applied. If I want to change an image, I can change by clicking here. If I want to remove it completely, I can remove it by clicking here. So review your order and make sure everything is correct. Minnesota tax will be applied after you go through the checkout process. If you hover over this image, or this icon, it will tell you what discounts are being applied. So we have a simple start package being applied and since we ordered two books we're getting a 20% discount. Now I'm ready to check out so I have to fill in my information here. Choose to pay by check or credit card. Make sure the address you enter in here is the address that you want the items shipped to and then an optional note for if you want to change anything in the collage wall. And then continue. Now you can review your order one last time. Make sure you've entered the correct address and click pay at PayPal. Now you can log in to your PayPal account here or you can choose, if you don't have a PayPal account, to just enter in your credit card information for a one-time pay. And then review and continue. Now you'll get a confirmation email from PayPal that it's gone through. And when we receive the order, we'll also send another confirmation email letting you know that it's been processed. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, and happy ordering from your gallery. Bye!